Hello everyone, ladies and gentlemen, I am Leo Hart, joined here by Pan Karen for a, another episode of Satisfactory, this time at 6 in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, me and Pan Karen just got done having a great old time uh, on a great website known as BuzzFeed. BuzzFeed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Not their journalism section, because that is just complete dog do. Uh, no. We are in the quiz section where all the greatness happens. Uh, so, me and Pan are going to be doing the same quiz, uh, singing what we both get. Now, the quiz we have <laughs> is your favorite Halloween movies will determine which vegetable... <laughs> Matches your personality. Now, Pan Karen, I'm going to have you read these out to me, because I'm going to go first, and okay. then it'll be Pan's turn. Okay. And I'll be playing the game as he it gives me the uh, responses. Okay. Pick a Halloween movie. Beetlejuice, 1988. Halloween, 1978, the first one. Nightmare Before Christmas, 1993. Or Hocus Pocus, 1993. Uh, well... Out of all of those, I've only seen Nightmare Before Christmas. So you're picking that one? Yep. Okay. Pick another Halloween movie. <laughs> I think that's all this is. Okay. That's what it says. Yeah. Casper, 1995. Scream, 1996. Trick or Treat, not 2007. And Frankenweenie, 2012. Which one? Uh, Casper. Casper, uh, Casper the Friendly. Hell goes. yeah. Okay, Ghostbusters, 1984, The Shining, 1980, Donnie Darko, 2001, or Nightmare on Elm Street, 1984. You know what? Let's go Nightmare on Elm Street. It's good. I like it. I haven't seen it. <laughs> Pick Halloween movie. Twitches, 2005, The Haunted Mansion, 2003, Sleepy Hollow, 1999, Horror Norman, 2012. Uh, what were those options again? Sorry. Witches, 2005, The Haunted Mansion, 2003, Sleepy Hollow, 1999, or P Paranorman, 2012. You know what? Let's go Sleepy Hollow. That movie was the best movie of all of Johnny Depp's movies. Um, Caroline, 2009, The Exorcist, 1973, Halloween Town, 1998, or Goosebumps, 2015. Not the 90s show, apparently. Um, you know... Let's go with Goosebumps, because right. I have a bunch in my closet. You are a radish. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. You're, you're, a, you're a communist. No, no, <laughs> you're a radish. Ah, oh, thank you, comrade. You have, you have an interesting personality. You're a rule breaker, and you love taking risks. When you want to do something, there's nothing holding you back. Ah, uh, yes, like eating a nut while in water. Uh, personally, I would not describe you as any of those. Yeah, the out of all the ones we did, there was only one that was ac completely accurate, and that was the fact that I was Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. And the description it gave was just spot on. If only we could bring that up. Yeah. Uh, sadly, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm. A, I'm that a would girl. require too much effort and the way back machine. The way back machine. Yeah, the we way... archived all of these. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Pick a Halloween movie. I'm gonna go Halloween 1978 because Jamie Lee Curtis. I don't know. Why not? Pick a Halloween movie uh, of Casper, Scream, Frank and Weenie, Trick or Treat. I'm gonna go Scream. I've seen that one. Pick a Halloween movie Ghostbusters 1984, The Shining 1980, Donnie Darko 2001, Nightmare on Elm Street 1984, Ghostbusters, of course. Halloween movie Twitches, 2005, The Haunted Mansion, 2003, Sleepy Hollow, 1999, Paranorman, 2012, I've never even heard of that one, Sleepy Hollow, The Masterpiece, Caroline, The Exorcist, Goosebumps, Halloween Town, I have to say The Exorcist, uh, no way, what, I got the only vegetable I can stand to eat, what, broccoli, I got, I literally got the only vegetable I will eat. <laughs> There's no way. You are cool and laid back already. This is so far off. You don't let anything stress you out. 
You're a generous and giving person. No words can describe how likable I am. You ever seen the guy at the party who's just like standing back in fear of everything that's happening? That's me. <laughs> uh, uh, I can completely agree to that statement. <laughs> that is me. Especially on uh, one of your birthday parties with uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. a certain BB gun fight <laughs> that broke out <laughs> that night. Um, anyway. Uh, if that's the same one I'm thinking of, uh, a thing that also happened in that one is one of my friends decided they were going to put... Uh, cupcake in your face? Yeah, cupcake in my face. Yep. And I just did it right back to them because <laughs> that's just something that goes on. <laughs> I, I, it's yeah. like, oh, hey, you're gonna do this to me? Sorry, I don't, I, I don't take that. I'm not like the rest of my family, just taking it like a complete Scrub. what? Yeah, <laughs> just like, sorry, I'm, I ain't about that. I will retaliate. I do not care. Yeah, at all costs. <laughs> like, so what if I lose a cupcake? One was already lost on me. <laughs> <laughs> a war has been started. <laughs> <laughs> the war has been started. The war has been started. Uh, so. I'm pulling up the Winnie the Pooh description. You're pulling up the Winnie the Pooh? Oh, you're going, uh, you remember what, um, uh, nope. options I give, nope. gave? Nope. Read them out to me. Nope. No? Okay. Hold on. I will. I will if I don't get it on this try. I got it on this try. You want, uh, to, you want me to read them out to you anyway? Sure. Okay. How would you spend an afternoon by yourself? Doing something productive, binge watching a show, playing sports, exploring, taking a nap, reading. Chose taking a nap, right? Yeah. Okay. Which snack sounds fulfilling? Candy, crackers, vegetables, chips, sandwiches, nothing. Sandwiches. Hell yeah. Always have one for lunch. What is scariest? Being alone and forgotten, losing someone very close to you, things that don't... Things that don't go according to plan, losing all your knowledge, losing your friends, everything. You said your friends, right? Yeah, my yeah. friends mean a lot to me. What sounds like the most fun? Exploring the forest, skydiving, having a snack, sleeping, going shopping, hanging out with friends. Which one did you choose for this one? Uh, hanging out with friends? Exploring, exploring the forest. forest. Alright. Uh, energetic, adventurous, productive... Intelligent, responsible, kind, charismatic, mature. How would your friends describe you? I said uh, charismatic. Yeah. Uh, finally, I'm, I'm decently charismatic. Uh, I mean, given the fact that there are like some like occasions, I'm the one having to speak for you. Oh yeah, no, yeah, I'm I'm 100% in introvert. Oh, yeah. Um. Finally, what is something you look for while making friends? Trust, humor, adventure, intelligence. You chose trust, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, me, me too, 100%. Winnie the Pooh, you are a loyal, nice, and funny friend. Although you may not be the brightest one in your friend group, you sure make people smile. You enjoy the company of others and good food. Yes, that I do. Description. I do enjoy good food. I like the company of others. Uh... I forgot what the rest of the description you're, was, but yeah. You're funny. I am decently funny, yes. Yeah, like two rubber bands and a toothpaste. Yeah. <laughs> or don't give up, just keep believing. Or child begging for LSD. Child begging for ass. <laughs> uh, those are just some of the funny bits I, uh, I've come up with and forgotten <laughs> that I came up with them. Can I browse around on BuzzFeed real quick? Do you mind? I don't know why you wouldn't mind. You know, I, I don't mind. Let's get some more on uh, my content going. <laughs> I, I want to look up one very specific thing. Uh-huh. Okay. Immediately, this is not what I was looking for, but immediately I found something that sounds really stupid. So hold on a minute. I'm going to open that in a new tab. Let that roll.
Um, I'm really, I'm really not finding anything else here. Uh, but I found this one, which is bizarre. Musical, it, it's. We know which instrument you're most like. You are like an instrument based on which pasta you choose. Ah, uh, dude, I love pasta. So, who's going first? Uh, me or you? Uh. You went first the last one? Should yeah. I go first this one? Yeah. Alright, what, what? First, choose some pasta. You got tortellini. You got. What for for Feli? I have no idea what that is. Uh, uh, let, bow tie. Let, let's see. It's bow tie. Oh, uh. Bow tie pasta. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> bow tie. Uh, tang, tag, leon, tagliatelle, gnocchi, penne, spaghetti. I gotta go with the penne. I gotta go with the penne. My favorite. Pick a base sauce. Cheese. Cream, egg, pesto, tomato, olive oil. You gotta get that cream sauce. Do it, the creme. Alright. Pick your favorite ingredient. Spaghetti and cheese, you idiot. Nothing. You don't add anything. It tastes terrible. Broccoli, ground beef, mushrooms, bacon, olives. I've had bacon and mac and cheese before, so I'll go with that one. Yeah, that's good. Add a second thing. Sausage, chicken, tremendous... Cherry tomatoes, <laughs> ham, spinach, or onions. Uh, ham? Ham. Mac and cheese? What herb or spice do you like? Something nice. <laughs> Garlic? Oh, caterium or vein. Nice. Chili flakes, chives, basil, oregano, ore basil? Basil, oregano, rosemary. I have to go with I have to go with chili flakes, 100%. Add a topping: breadcrumbs, anchovies, fresh parsley, pine nuts, capers, sun-dried tomatoes. Breadcrumbs, none of the above, please. What cheese would you like to top it off? Gorgonzola, Rana Padano. I've never had that. Parmesan, mozzarella, cheddar, goat cheese. Parmesan. Or mozzarella, but Parmesan. Have a drink with your pasta. Water, rosé, white wine, juice, red wine, or soda. Soda. Lastly, pick a dessert. I'd rather have a cheese plate. Gelato, pina colada, panna cotta. First of all, pina, pina colada is dessert. Tiramisu, cannoli, espresso. I'd rather have a cheese plate. Apparently, uh, I'm a pair of... I'm, I'm a bagpipes. <laughs> <laughs> I am the bagpipes instrument. You're fun, down-to-earth, and a bit quirky. You don't take life too seriously, and you have a great sense of humor. Some people might think you're lazy, but you call it preserving energy. You don't like to get involved with drama. You believe... Everything will sort themselves out eventually. You gotta stay positive, right? Only well, one part of that is like e even like true. Huh? Only like one part of that is true. Which one would you say is true about me, huh? It was the uh, second to the last part, like the drama thing, I think it was. You don't like to get involved in other people's yeah. drama? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's usually it. Alright. <laughs> Now, uh, choose some pasta. Now, okay. We have tortellini, bow tie, tar tad tadglia. It's just thick noodle. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. And then nochi, nochi penne or spaghetti. Hmm. You know what? Uh, bow tie. Alright. <laughs> okay. Pick out a base sauce. You got cheese, you got cream, you got pesto, egg, tomato, olive oil. 
what you want. Cream sauce. That's what I went with, man. Pick your first ingredient. Broccoli, ground beef, mushrooms, bacon, olives, or salmon. You know what? Let's add some ground beef in there. <laughs> Second thing. Sausage, chicken, terry tomatoes, <laughs> ham, spinach, onions. Onions for more flavor. Show yourself. What kind of herb or spice? Garlic, chili flakes, chives, basil, rosemary, oregano. No, I think a little bit of chives. Time for chives. Okay. Add a topping. Breadcrumbs, anchovies, fresh parsley, pine nuts, sun-dried tomatoes, capers. You know what? Parsley. That's the only thing that seems remotely good out of everything on there. Parsley tastes like the Serrano pepper we ate. It's a, you know. <laughs> well, you know, it tastes better than everything else on the list. Yes. What cheese would you top it off with? Gorgonzola, Grana Padano, I've never had that. Parmesan, mozzarella, cheddar, goat cheese. Hmm. You know what? Parmesan. I agree. Choose a drink. Water, rosé, white wine, juice, red wine, or soda. You know, knowing me, it'd be a soda. Yeah. Some good old Coca-Cola. Lastly, pick a dessert. I'd rather have a cheese plate, gelato, panna cotta, tiramisu, cannoli, espresso. Uh, cheese plate. Cool. You're a flute. Ah, <laughs> uh, dude, I think that's a fluke. I can play you like the flute. You're happy, friendly, and creative. It's hard for you to focus on tasks sometimes because you're daydreaming all the time. You don't always stand up for yourself. You'd rather just run away and avoid arguments all together. You prefer staying out of trouble and spreading happiness. We just had this conversation. You will stick it back to anyone <laughs> who comes <laughs> after you. <laughs> God. Waterfall. Oh! There's something behind the waterfall. Nice. Yeah. In we go. Made it. <laughs> but now I'm lower than when I, where I started. Uh, I found this one. Gem. Which mythological goddess are you? Ah, <laughs> uh, dude. You want Hopefully it? it's Princess Peach. You want, <laughs> you want it? You want to take that one? Yeah, no, what? Let's do it. All right. Here we go. Uh, are you going first? Uh, sure. So, uh, choose a domain to rule as God. Sky, sea, forest, mountains, desert, or space. What are the gods of space? That'd be cool. Besides, like, Rome. Well, oh. Thank you. Come again. Uh, you know what? What, I what think are you a god of? You know, I think the land would be good. But there's desert and forest and mountains and sea. Desert, forest, mountain, and sea. Uh, you know what? Mountains. Alright. Because Choose. I'm less burnable. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, I can chuck boulders at you. Perfect. Choose a, choose a weapon. And I got a whole horde of angry little men. You probably do. And you know what they are? Santa's elves. Ah, Santa's elves? I thought they were dwarves. Dang well, it. Well, they also live in the mountain, but you really want to send six Santa's elves after them. They only get to work one day a year. They got so much pent-up energy. <laughs> <laughs> Choose a weapon. You got a regular sword, you got a bow and arrow, fire, an axe, my fists, or I'm a lover, not a fire. I'm a god of love, not a god of fighting. 
Axe. <laughs> Just so I can ask him a question. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Which thing fills you with the most rage when other people do it? Mansplaining. Thank you very much. Catcalling. Isn't feminism isn't... In, insisting that feminism isn't needed. Saying you haven't seen a terrible movie in disbelief. Asking... Are you okay during a fight? <laughs> and, uh, saying communism rules. The are you okay? It's during like, does it look like I'm okay? <laughs> I got a black eye and 13 broken ribs. Okay? My arm got ripped off and I was slapped with it. Does it look like I'm okay? <laughs> okay. Like, seriously? <laughs> Choose a... a out of, out of these, since we are uh, uh, go a female goddess, we have to choose a, a husband. Out of uh -huh. all of these, out of all of these men. Okay, so we have Brett, Ethan, Liam, Aaron, Antonio, and Mark. Not to be confused with Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, you know, uh, Mark. Mark? Mark. Okay. Mark it he is. looks like someone I could be down to earth with, and he's, uh, and he's just great to go out and have fun with, you know, just go out adventuring. The rest just look like complete businessmen, n except for, uh, Liam. He just looks like too much of a California dude to me. No idea. Uh, apparently you're Hela, the Norse god of the underworld. Ah. <laughs> well, you know what? An army of the damned. There you go. God damn it. Alright, I'm gonna I'm do it now. Apparently I'm starting off, this is randomized. Choose a weapon. Um, sword, bow and arrow, fire, axe, my fists. I am a lover, not a fighter, because I would die <laughs> immediately. <laughs> Choose a domain. Would I rule the sky, the mountains, the forest, the desert, the space, the sea? I'd probably choose, like... I I'm thinking you would prefer space. Space? Space, oh yeah. Yeah, I think that's 100%. What are the odds you think I'll land on top of that creature? Zero. Yeah, save over your auto save, you dungle <laughs> gungus. Which thing fills you with the most rage when other people do it? I have to say asking, are you okay during a fight, too, you know? Um, yeah, you're right. There's, like, no chance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which, what, what is my god husband? Um, you know what? I'm going to have to go with Mark as well. Why not? Oh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a two-headed female dragon. <laughs> At least you got a chick. I just got a <laughs> female dragon. I am Tiamat. In Babylonian mythology, Tiamat is a great sea dragon. Ah. The bird's a new generation of gods. So you're a furry. I'm a wombat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a one. We we did a quiz earlier just for the hell of it to see what our fursona was. Uh Pankiran got a wombat. The my favorite. Um so I have this card and, and then what was my <laughs> Yours was uh Lynx? No, it wasn't a Lynx. It was like Toucan! Toucan, toucan, yeah, that's what I got. I got a toucan. <laughs> hell? And one of the questions was like, what would your fursona name be? <laughs> and I went with like, Gazella, the goddess of hell. Because <laughs> yeah. I was like, that seems freaking rad. <laughs> Apparently that gets me a toucan. And if you go with Chad, which is one of the other options, you get wombat. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, you know, Wombat, the chattiest of all fur furries.
I have a card in a million dollars butt where it's like a brain dead Generation Z millennial wombat. Yeah. And it's it's so good. It's so good. I came up with that. It's so good. Ooh, this seems like a nice area to explore once I get down. This has sent this down a rabbit hole, dude. Oh yeah, we Sh started this like what, like thirty minutes an hour ago? <laughs> should I should I start this should I start this off? Should I go to a different quiz and just refresh the page or something? Cause I'm getting nothing but religious quizzes now. With which mythology do you belong to? <laughs> I must know. You must know? I must know. Which one do I belong to? Alright, I'll start I'll start should I start this one off? Um you know what? I started off the last one, so you, yeah, it's your turn. If I was a god, what kind of god would I want to be? Uh, a trickster, a uh, god of love, like like not love of love me for I am your I am your you know protector. Love is in the hey uh, destroyer. Hey, you guys are married now. Deal with it. Literally, that's the description. Love <laughs> as in the hey hey. So. Hee hee. Hee hee. Copyright. Uh, Strike. Okay, so I am a god of fear, a protector, a creator, or I want to chill and then awaken in a thousand years and destroy the earth. Um. I'll be a, I'll be a protector, I guess. Sure. What happens to your humans after they die? They feast and drink. They're reincarnated. Nothing. They die. <laughs> the, yeah, that's one of the options. They die. Nothing. They go to the spirit realm. They go to the underworld. Uh, their souls are judged and placed accordingly. Uh, I'm going to have to go with that one. I banish you to the shadow realm, Jimbo. <laughs> it looks like you're going to the shadow realm, Jimbo. Um... Which fearsome monster guards the gates to your realm? A dog with eight heads, a giant dragon, me, a one-eyed giant, a ghost wolf, or a wolf who is also a ghost, a giant spider. I'd have to say, uh, probably giant spider would be horrifying for the underworld. Choose a superpower. Lightning and storms, mind control, shape-shifting, force field, super strength, or flight, flight, 100%. How will the world end? Big ol' war, meteor crash, uh, gods will smite us all. Probably something to do with global warming. <laughs> the stars will burn out and the universe will grow cold. Um, it won't. I shall go with um, it won't, because I want to... Inuit mythology. I live in Greenland. You are a very spiritual, super chill, nice, relaxing, um, don't piss off any of your gods, it says. This has been the worst description I've ever seen. Okay, now it's time for your turn. <laughs> well, I think I found a, um, a religious hell hole here. Yeah, sounds about right. Uh, but hey, look, there's a poison knife. Along with all the poison. Yeah. So if you were a god, what god, what would you be a god, what kind of god would you be? A trickster, a hey hey, a destroyer, protector, creator, or do you want to be Armageddon god? Hmm. That is a good question. You know what? Destroyer, but not Armageddon. Okay. You want to smite all the evil people in the world is the description. Sounds about okay. right. All right. What happens to your humans after they die? They feast and drink. They get reincarnated. Nothing. They go to the spirit realm. They go to the underworld where I rule over their eternal souls, and their souls will be judged and placed accordingly. I want to banish them to the shadow realm. 
Um, so the underworld? Yeah. <laughs> okay. We said one of them is like, uh, Shadow Realm. You mean the spirit realm? Yeah, spirit realm. Okay. That's close to the shadow realm, okay? You know what, you're right. Uh, here we are. Hold on. Which fearsome monster guards the gates to your realm? A dog with eight heads, big dragon, you, a one-eyed giant, a ghost wolf, or a giant spider? One of them was a one-eyed wolf? One-eyed giant. Ghost oh. wolf. Oh, ghost wolf. Okay. What do you um, want? Is it... You know what? A ghost wolf would be pretty banging. Okay, ghost wolf it is. Choose a superpower. You can control... In other words, you're the god of lightning and storms, you're the god of mind control, shape-shifting, force field, super strength, or flight. Lightning, it fits the smite. You know what, you write? Smite is smite. How will the world end? A big war, meteor crash, the gods will smite us all. Probably something to do with global warming. Doggo. The stars... Doggo will burn out and the universe will go dark or it won't end which one the gods will smite everything okay apparently you're 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 hindu which is just an actual all of these are real religions i expected it to be like fantasy religions but this is just a weird you are the shia yeah like that's what that's kind of what i expected but uh, this is weird So, I don't know where I am anymore. What? I take a, I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. So, I don't know where I ended up. You can't be back here. Unless you went all the way around. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Keep heading south. Keep heading south. You're getting hit by something, dude. Oh, yeah, no, I'm just getting boosted up the hill. There's no way. Thanks, boys. No. Uh. This is the beautiful cliffs at the end of the world, though. You can go uh, look at the end of the earth if you want. Oh, okay. Let's do it. Ooh, bacon. Ooh, ooh, bacon. Bacon. He's ooh, bacon. bacon. Ooh. Lovely. Look at the waterfalls. Yeah. There you were. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you're right. The homepage on BuzzFeed is awful for quizzes. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to call it here for this video. Uh, we will see you guys in the next video, hopefully with less BuzzFeed, uh, with how cancerous it can be. Yes. Uh, but, honestly, this is pretty fun, uh, though, the next video will not be at 6 in the morning. I, uh, that, this isn't happening again. <laughs> oh, you'd be so Cue, outro.